Hi there and welcome to our week ending webisode of Hoo-Ha Sports today as we continue to scan the transfer stories surrounding the Premier League plus other stories such as the new jerseys some of the clubs will adorn. But we start with transfer news and after Liverpool and Manchester United got the ball rolling with the buying and selling, Chelsea have now joined the fray. As their search for a new manager is rumoured to be in the final stages, the Blues have made an attempt against the much talked about move for Tottenham's Luka Modric to Manchester United. They were reported to have made a bid of £22 million for the 26-year-old playmaker, but his manager Harry Redknapp told the BBC Luca is not for sale and hit back the rumoured bid by saying if there has been a bid of £22 million, that is ridiculous. There are people being sold for £20 million who are not fit to lace Luca's boots, quote-unquote. Without mentioning any names, we know who and which deal he was referring to. And you have to say that Jordan Henderson has a lot to live up to for his £20 million price tag Liverpool paid for him. And Chelsea will need to fork out more than that amount, say around £50 million for someone who will contribute more than the other £50 million fella they paid for. Pundits are predicting that Chelsea will return with the same £20 million bid but could throw in Didier Drogba in the package. Well, there were rumours of him wanting a move but can Spurs afford his hefty pay package said to be around £100,000 to £130,000 a week? I doubt it, but there have been news of AC Milan who are now chasing the Ivorian to move to the Serie A. I feel that this deal will be the main story for the coming week and with so many par- so many parties involved, Chelsea, Modric, Spurs, Drogba, AC Milan and don't forget United still haven't officially made a bid for the Croatian. And speaking of United, Sir Alex Ferguson has been in the news but he provided some advisory comments to Aston Villa fans over the near confirmation of Alex McLeish as the new manager. The squad believes Villa should give his fellow Glaswegian a fair chance at proving his worth and letting go of the fact that that he previously managed the arch rivals Birmingham City. The wise man said as he was quoted in the Daily The Independent, if you look back 40 years ago, the emotions of supporters were far different. They are very emotional nowadays and they are more personal about their football club. You see many examples of that, particularly at Villa in the past few days and continued with, but as a club, you can't be swayed from the decisions you have to make. You want to listen to the supporters, but you want to listen to the sensible ones and say, look at the manager's CV and look at what he's achieved. For, and for just one minute, forget about the fact he was at Birmingham. Now, Ferguson has known McLeish since he managed him at Aberdeen when he was 18 and ended his interview with, it doesn't matter whether there are 5 against him, 50 against him or 500 against him. Because of the experience and the ability McLeish has, Fergie believes that he will prove he can do the job and that's what it's all about, quote-unquote. So far, what's been reported is that Villa are set to pay a £2 million compensation fee to Birmingham City, but neither clubs have yet commented on either's agreement to it. Okay, while that deal looks like it will stretch till the weekend or even next week, let's look at fashion, football fashion, which only means one thing, new kids, women, just have so little options to fashion. Let's take a look at what's been revealed and reaction to it. Here's Patrice Evra with the home colours while also shown as one of the away options for United with the significant design change to the collar. Meanwhile, Liverpool fans are seeing red over their new kit design. Nothing wrong with their home kit and eyesight as it is and always will be red. But the one of the away designs that has received calls for it to be scrapped because it holds the colours of their Merseyside rivals. And this is what the fuss is all about. Well, the fans say that it looks too much to Everton's colours, though I think it looks kind of sleek, but I'm not a Liverpool fan. Regardless, the editor of fans forum Cop Talk, Duncan Oldham, said this kit should be torched. Even Louis Saha was surprised by the revelation. But they do have that first choice away jersey in yellow and red, but what if they have to play Watford or something. Well, for me, anything goes, brother, as long as I don't have to watch a game with 10 outfield men running around in pink jerseys. And just before we leave you, in conjunction with the Asia tours of Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea next month, organisers of the tours, pro events, will be having a futsal friendly tomorrow, the 18th, between the supporters clubs of Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool in Malaysia, along with the participation from the Sport Writers Association of Malaysia, SAM, and the Football Association of Malaysia, FAM. It will be held at the FAM AstroTurf pitch and the round-robin formats will begin at 8 in the morning. So, we'll be there, so come and join us at the event. 
And that's it for this week. Look out for our coverage of the futsal events uh, when you visit hoohah.my on Sunday or just head on over to our Facebook page. So till Monday, you have yourself a great sporting weekend. Bye for now.